sitting here today talking with Sean Caulfield, who will be joining me in our free webinar on the 9th of March. Sean and I have been working together recently, and we feel that the work that we do has the same purpose, the same goal, and that the partnership that we have formed is beneficial both for ourselves and for the people who work with us. So we thought we'd talk about um, what we're going to achieve in this webinar, and um, I thought I'd ask Sean to explain a bit about his work. Those of you who work with me will know that um, for many years the channels I've been doing with Archangel Michael have been pointing towards a new earth and a new reality and um, a very big shift in our evolution as a species. And the most recent channels have pointed to the fact that we've moved into the fifth dimension of time on the planet and that the energy is accelerating very quickly. So we're expecting uh, many shifts and changes in the way we live and um, in our daily lives as we move into this, what I would call the multidimensional reality. So the webinars I'm offering um, are about how to live in this multidimensional reality and Archangel Michael is, is working together with me. Now, on the 9th of March, we're going to be doing this um, webinar together. So. Sean, would you like to explain to people what it is that you do and how we're going to be working together? Yes. Hi there everyone, I'm Sean Caulfield. Um, thanks for watching us here today and I'm um, really privileged to be working alongside and with um, Celia. And uh, yeah, I've basically been very interested in uh, uh, the journey of the spirit, um, working uh, on a spiritual plane for the last couple of years, about eight years. And this took me to uh, wanting to learn a little bit more about myself, and and uh, this eventually took me to the uh, the Mayan calendar. And I've been studying the Mayan calendar now for the last three years, and I went on a journey to Guatemala last year, and um, did some work uh, with the Maya elders, um, Dan Alejandro, uh, Wandering Wolf, and um, his wife Elizabeth with a group of people, and it was a really great experience learning more about the uh, way that Maya people live uh, with the calendar and also um, before that having uh, studied Dr. Kellerman's work um, on the Mayan calendar for the last uh, three years reading his books and um, also hosting him down here in Cape Town and he did a workshop with uh, myself and a few people and also a lecture. Um, all this brings me to really want to learn more about the consciousness that we're going through at the moment and it is actually quite a profound time that we live in and um, this brings us all to a point in time that, that we're coming to now which is quite profound it's um, the ninth wave uh, this starts on the 9th of March and it's a big step in evolution um, it's a time when uh, we will look at things in a different way I believe uh, I believe that the consciousness that we are in at the moment is very dualistic um, that we'll be coming to a consciousness that will be more unitary um, and will bring in uh, a new resonance for us to be able to see things in a different reality. So, yeah, so we're looking at unity consciousness and yeah, oneness. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And we were just talking just now about how important it is for people to live in their hearts yes, and to yeah. really be centered yes. in this rising consciousness because many people are finding it very difficult to cope with the acceleration of the energies and the rising of the consciousness. Yeah. So this is what, um, in our partnership working together, we're aiming to help people yes. um, to understand, first of all, yeah. what's happening. Yes. And then also to give them um, perceptions and tools for coping with Yeah, I mean, a lot energies. of people are going through a lot of shifts and a lot of chaos, but it's actually a good thing. Uh, um, although it might sound crazy for me to say that, but it's all part of the process that we all have to go through uh, um, uh, to get through to the next stage. And um, it's letting go of things. And what it is, what I can understand it is, is it's a shift from uh, being more physically orientated to being more spiritually orientated, and to actually bringing both these um, perspectives into one and living from a spiritual perspective um, I believe is going to be a very uh, good
good way to go forward and, and do the work that you need to do um, for your own centering, whichever way that is. Yeah, the way um, Archangel Michael explains it is it's a combination of the cosmic self, the spiritual self, and the physical self, uh, the earth self, and that these um, two aspects of being connect in the heart. Yes. And when we do the webinar um, together, we're going to be very much focusing on the heart and the energies of the heart uh, to take us into this ninth wave, as, as um, Sean calls it. Archangel Michael talks about the rising wave of consciousness. It will take us from March through to the solstice and then through the Lion's Gate in August and culminating at the 11-11 on the 11th of November, which is quite similar to the um, time frame that Sean is working with because um, according to Kellerman's work, it's the 28th of October yes. that represents the end of... Um, it's the completion of the, all the nine levels when um, it is said that um, there will be... Uh, cosmic force that will come down to earth and uh, be with us, uh, basically bringing in uh, a new reality. It actually is all connected anyhow. You know, what I'm feeling very strongly, um, we talked about the partnership that we, you know, how did I meet Sean? Mm. Um, I mailed him and said, I need to meet you. Yeah. Because when I came back from, as people know, I work um, globally, and but I, whenever I'm at home, I do connect with the, the spirit keepers of the land. And they've always said to me that the, the Bushmen were the keepers of the grids in Southern Africa and that they had closed those grids off many years ago and that they were not going to open them until the right time. And so many people have worked in Southern Africa but they've never been able to really open the grids. And then when I saw the work that Sean was doing and I thought, well, wow, he's doing it and they're working with him. So I asked to meet him because I realized that he was doing tremendous work here. And, um, Working with him is about this process of um, opening the grids in Southern Africa because the Bushmen are the, Bushmen are the keepers of those grids. And um, as we're doing this work with them and as we we're talking to people around the world, bringing them into consciousness, uh, this is opening the African grids and bringing Africa back online as um, a, a being of light because Africa is the most amazing continent and has the most incredible energies but it hasn't been allowed to to show that and as we start this process the what's happening in Egypt in the Middle East mm. and what's happening now the root is all part of this tremendous shift in Africa so Sean and I are working together um, to assist in this process and, and in bringing it into people's consciousness so that people understand um, what is happening here and hopefully we'll be interested in helping us because it's just the two of us mm. and we're doing what we can but we're hoping that um, people will become interested in, in helping us to help these indigenous people who for so long have not had any help the help that they need so is to um, to bring the north and the south into alignment do you know the prophecy of the eagle and the condor yes. which applies to the americas but i think it applies also to europe and africa mm and that um, the European consciousness, which was so much a part of Africa in, in a negative way, is um, being harmonized like everything else on the planet, being brought into alignment and harmonized, mm. so that the North and the South um, and once again come into alignment. Mm. It's a very important part of this process. Sand from the Kalahari with the Bushmen. Have from the ceremony you did with the Bushmen? Yes, the Conscious Convergence. At Conscious Convergence, which was in July? July, the 18th of July. Okay. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit around us here just to bring in the energy of the Bushmen. The energy of that ceremony and to be with us. And the sage that we're burning here is um, from Israel. It was given to me as a gift. So we're also bringing in the energy from the Middle East. All the changes that are happening in Africa and the Middle East at this time. Okay, so we're going to do some drumming to connect with the energies of the place.
And so we're calling in the spirit of the sand. We're connecting with the spirit keepers at the southern tip of the African continent and asking permission to be part of these ceremonies and rituals to reopen the elemental grids and to join them with the grids of the new earth. <laughs> 